Hi, it's time for another math easy solution to discuss. Uh, basically, this video on the exponential function e to the power of x, and to show it how it could be written as a limit. Uh, basically, I proved this limit e to the x equals to limit as n approaches infinity of uh, basically 1 plus x divided by n, and then to the power of n right here. In my earlier video, I went over uh, e as a limit with that the x or e to the 1, and you can see that in the video link below. Basically, to prove this, and to prove it, we first start off with the inverse of this, which is the logarithmic function or the natural logarithmic function. So we'll start off with f of x equals 2 ln of x right here. And I showed in my earlier video that the derivative of this one is just basically equals 2 f. Uh, prime of x equals to 1 over x so that's the derivative of ln of x right here but so basically if you have this one you could also write it as uh, using the definition of the derivative and you can see that in my earlier video as well so basically when you write it down you could write it as limit as h approaches um, basically zero of now this is f of x plus h and then minus f of x, and then all divided by h right here. So once again, this is the definition of derivative. Yeah, I'll just write that down over here. So now when we plug in, uh, just, just replace this with ln of x instead of this f of x. So we get basically the derivative, which is 1 over x, equals 2 using the definition of derivative limit as h approaches 0 of now, this is ln of x plus h minus ln of x and once again divided by h right here so now uh, with this part here we could even simplify this further using our log laws and, and, and their properties basic logarithm and their properties see that in the video links below uh, this one right here x plus h you could divide this out I'll show you right here so we're gonna get h approaches 0 this is this will have a 1 over h right here we'll leave it there now this is gonna be ln of basically we could uh, divide this out when you have a subtraction we could divide it out <coughs> so this just equals to ln x plus h divided by x right here and you see proof of this also in the video links below so and also we could even uh, further simplify this this is times 1 over h we can bring this up to be an exponent of this logarithm so we'll get basically equals to limit as um, h approaches 0 of now ln x plus h divided by x and then the power of 1 over h right here and once again this equals to 1 over x over at this point right here yeah so now the next step here uh, what we could do is is uh, take both sides and put them as a power of basically e to the power I mean, e to the power of uh, both sides so we're gonna do this uh, we're gonna go e to the power of uh, the left side and this equals to basically e to the power of the right side because they're both if they're both equal we could do this so this is just now limit as h approaches 0 ln x plus h divided by x and then it's power of 1 over h so we're just uh, making uh, basically e to the power of both sides and now with this limit right here this is the same thing as writing limit as h approaches 0 of e, so basically e goes inside, you can see proof of this also in my limits in the properties videos in the video link below. So this would be e ln x plus h divided by x and then 1 over h. And also another log property is this is e to the ln with natural log which is again log base e, so these cancel out, so we'll be left with limit as h approaches 0 this cancels so we're just gonna be left with x plus h divided by x right here and then this is 1 divided by h right here so now I'm just gonna simplify this out or uh, just divide x on both sides of this one so we'll get limit h approaches 0 so now we're just basically rearranging stuff and simplifying it so x divided by x is 1 and now here is gonna be plus h divided by x so that's it and power of 1 over h so this is basically e to the power of 1 over x so we've found a limit for e to the power of 1 over x but now we're gonna just write it in the form that I showed earlier like at the beginning of this video and to do that first I'll let basically let r equals to 1 over x and also let basically um, we'll call this right here n equals to 1 over h 
Yeah, so when we look at it, when we just, we're just basically changing the variables. So when we have n equals 1 over h, as basically h is approaching 0, this is going to be 1 divided by 0-ish, so it's going to be basically n, n is going to infinity. When you're dividing 1 by a really small number like 0 or close to it, it's, it's going to be infinity. So now we can basically replace everything here with these r and n right here. So 1 over x equals to r, so we'll get e to the power of r is equal to limit now it's a, it's when n goes to infinity not h anymore because it's basically as h goes to zero n is infinity so we're just replacing everything so now we're gonna have one plus now this is h but then this is basically h equals to if we rearrange it h equals to one over n and also this is one over x so that's equals to r so we'll get r right here over n and this is the power of now this is one over h this is just n. So this is actually the limit that I was showing, just that in this case r is equal to x. So if we just, uh, just say switch a variable, let's, we could use basically, uh, let's say let x equals to r. It's so basically the same thing but different variable, and you could even replace it. We go e to the x equals to limit as n approaches infinity of 1 plus r over x, and this is again to the power of n. Actually, whoops, I made a mistake. Uh, this is the R is replacing with X. So this is just X and this is just N right here. So then basically this is a, the same way as, uh, this is the exact same thing as here. We just replace R with X. Uh, just, a, just a different variable to write in it. Anyways, that's all for now. If you learned from this uh, video, this proof is pretty straightforward if you understand it. And uh, you can also, like always, download these notes just by going to these links right here, mes.ph slash notes slash 537 for the PDF and put a W for the word and these links are also in the video links below. Anyways, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.